Keith Wilson asks, will climate change be a cause for World War III? I can see countries declaring war over water, food, habitable land. Is the best way to prepare for climate change to stock more weapons? Oh, my God. So that you can conquer other resources during climate catastrophe. I mean, everyone coming together to solve climate crisis sounds too cliche. Okay. I, I have a hot take here. Okay. I know a lot of people don't like this take. And, and, I, and I don't want you to spread this take. Okay. Because I want people to be alarmed as much as possible because climate change is a serious issue. Okay. So you, I, I need people, I want people to be more alarmed that if, if it's the two, okay. So if this is the actual threat, okay. I want people to be more worried rather than less worried because it's impossible to get it right. Okay. Uh, however, I personally think that we will solve all of these things. Okay. We will go through a very difficult period of time and we will pay a heavy price for it. Okay. But, uh, eventually, like, for example, you're saying people declaring war over water. I don't think, I mean, okay, at, in the foreseeable future, maybe, but we will have technology sooner than most people think that turning salt water, seawater into drinkable water um, so cheap, so fast for most countries, okay? For almost every country. Like, even the poorest countries will be able to just they get take out seawater and just like use it for agricultural drinking water, everything they need. Okay. That technology will solve that this food, habitable land that's going to solve itself because once you have water, you, you technology is going to make it possible for us to turn deserts into habitable land so easily. Okay. A lot sooner than a lot of people think. Okay. Also climate change. I also think that, we're going to get off of fossil so fossil fuels a lot a lot sooner than a lot of people think and you know as soon as you again i i'm not saying that the climate change is not a big deal it's a huge deal and more people should be alarmed and i'm like it's going to be a nightmare for a while but i think eventually we're going to every single car like if you see a a car that runs on gas and fuel you're going to take a picture because they're like no, I, no, there's going to be a lot of them running. Uh, but most cars, like, I think at some point it would be illegal for you to uh, burn fossil fuels to move a vehicle. You know, everything it will be, all cars will be electric. Uh, food is not going to be an issue. Uh, we're going to be able to grow our meat and every, like, yeah, but like with water, with, with water crisis solves, the food crisis will also be solved. We're also going to be able to change like inhabitable places to play to is technology will solve the food crisis, the water crisis, the habitable land crisis, and also the climate crisis. It will, it will eventually solve it. Okay. And if we get the, the closer we get to, um, the danger zone, um, the more money will be poured into these technologies that will solve these problems. Okay um and again i'm not saying climate change is not a real issue it is a real issue anybody who's not taking this is the after ai this is the greatest threat to civilization okay so you cannot throw enough money at this in fact the money that we're throwing at this is a fraction of what we should be throwing at. i'm not trying to dismiss this as a as a problem i'm just saying that i i I don't see, I don't see this ending us. I see this, we will not only, we will not end this. Like if you could see a hundred years into the future, you will see like, I, I think you will see no pollution, uh, no water sh shortage. Uh, and I think, I, I honestly think hundred years from now, you would not have a single person uh, starving because of poverty. This is what I think. A hundred years from now, you would not see a single person a single person starving because of poverty. That's my, that's my, I, again, I might be too optimistic, but that's what I think technology will bring us. Higgs was on saying, I'm going to trust the invisible hand. I'm not trusting the invisible, guys, I do not trust the invisible hand. The, the, all the investments that I'm su suggesting requires the government involvement, okay? I'm saying the government using tax payer money should be investing in, 
research and technology. They should be, the market itself is blind to the fact of, because the problem with pollution is um, a negative externality. So the market is blind to it. For us to invest more in technologies that brings this future that I'm saying, the government needs to use taxpayer money to subsidize it, right? So that means that for me, to, I literally don't trans, trust the invisible hand of the market, okay? I think the invisible hand of the market is a very, very useful tool. The markets are very powerful, but government needs to push some things when the market is blind to it. So I am trusting in the in in our tech, in in our capacity to develop powerful technology not just the market bringing it about right like for example nasa uh, brought us so much technology that was the government that was not the free hand of the market oh we got a donation hey anonymous donated five pounds thank oh five euros thank you five thank you anonymous for the five euros is that pounds or euros best euros thank you thank you thank you that's very thank you d for telling us that we got a donation thank you d so I could thank you, whoever it was. I appreciate you. Yeah. Okay. So somebody saying most starvation today is because of uh, bad food distribution. The only problem is bad is institutions and stupidity. I don't think so. I think like it's not stupidity because like there's so many smarter people than you and me think, thinking at these. If things are not happening, it's because we haven't figured out a way to do it yet, and we will. Israel, by the way, has the best technology of uh, changing seawater into drinking water. So Israel might be eventually doing more good to the world than all the harms that it did. Mm. Yeah, Bobby, I agree with you. But yeah, I, I support all the money that the government is spending on research. So as an as as somebody who believes in free market capitalists people think like oh i believe new governments should have no role okay so no that's not a libertarian that's an anarchist i'm not an anarchist i do believe that governments have a role a very important helpful role hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.